it's a privilege to watch him play football, isn't it? Especially like just against opposition where he barely even tried. He come on and was just like, I'm going to show you how good I am for about 10, 15 minutes. Win this game for you. Get me token goal or assist because everything that he touched seemed to result in an opportunity, whether it was a killer ball, even with his right or his left foot. Everything seemed to be like a really incisive through ball or an opportunity where it lead to him either having a shot that was blocked or the inevitable goal where he took it past two or three players and made the keeper look like a kipper. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> it's great. I'd, I'd give him a an eight. An eight, okay. Obviously, it's not based on he didn't play the whole game, but for the cameo we saw, you can't give him anything well, less than an eight. No, you can't. And we, we had a chat here because I obviously do the man the match poll on our socials at the end of the game. And I was almost reticent to put Mohamed Salah in it given the fact he'd been on the pitch for about 10 minutes at that point but I was like it's laughable but he just has to go in it it mm-hmm. was just it was just a performance did he win that just no he didn't win it Gravenberg won it but even so it was like oh by the way like I said it before like I'm Mohamed Salah and I'm coming into this game you lot are all tired and I'm just walking on the pitch and I'm going to make a show of everyone it was a joke it was you know that like I'm him type performance that was yeah. it for Mohamed yeah. Salah yeah. it was literally like by the way I'm levels above what's going on here like yeah. this is the first you know, like, I'm normally asleep by now, but go on then. Go on then, I'll make a show of you for 15 minutes and I'm probably going to score while I'm here. I might even assist something. It was an absolute farce what he was able to do from the minute he got the ball to the minute he finished the game. It was just ridiculous. Chloe? Yeah, it's just Mo Salah, isn't it? Like, there's not much. We've <laughs> seen no this more. time and time again. Uh, he does this against better opposition. I mean, how many times the, the goal against Manchester City sits half of their team down? He's done it against Watford before. He's done it against Spurs before. You know, this is this is just the Mo Salah show, really, isn't it? And he's proven week in week out why Liverpool did not sell him why Liverpool did not care about the fee that was that was knocked on the door with um, we were never going to let him go he is pretty much irreplaceable to me uh, and tonight he, literally like you mentioned he's probably being like I really can't be arsed here but it's my job in it uh, got, what, 20 to go okay I can run around for 20 he's came on and for 20 he's just pulled string he, they, they, their left back got taken off after he came on and and I felt really sorry for him because he'd seen five minutes of Moussala and was like, yeah, I've had enough now, lads, take me off. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just Moussala. He's so, his close control is incredible. The goal, by the way, is the way he just drags the player and the player thinks he has a chance of getting the ball and then one do. touch, see you later, my <laughs> pace is gone. You all make that all mistake. Yeah. Yeah. They all make that mistake. They never learn. <laughs> no, never learn. Never. Never. <laughs> uh, and also the selfishness, the audacity. He's got four men in the box screaming for the ball and instead he just megs a goalkeeper and has him off as well. Yeah, it was just like he didn't break sweat. He just didn't get out of second and gear it was a it was literally like a training ground yeah. exercise for them um and he'll probably be sat there and we we know how much he cares about you know not doing right by liverpool we saw the champions league when we didn't get that at the end he was fuming and he was apologizing and the reason he's fuming and apologizing is because he literally can play walking football against these lot and he's missing out on champions league football for this um but yeah he gets his goal it, it's just, it's world, world class one. Yeah, scandalously good. The fact we can bring him in in that scenario, Sparrow, was just ludicrous. We spoke about it here, like, you know, you're, you're 2-1 up anyway in the game. There's 15 minutes to go, even dying embers. They're all knackered. They've run their socks off trying to keep up with anyone all night. And we go, oh, by the way, you know, that lad who's proper good at footy? There you go, go and play. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I felt like it, it started to feel like a training game once we got to 2-1. Our lads were just playing around a little bit. We weren't really going for it. Despite the fact that the game wasn't even remotely over, it just felt like it got really easy. Our quality started to show, and then Mo comes on, and I've just I've just got this image in my mind of him looking back at Jurgen, going, "Hey, watch this, lad. This is going to be hilarious." <laughs> as, he, as he goes on the pitch and just walks around for twenty minutes, causing absolute murder for everything he does. I mean, the man's a cheat code when we play Premier League opposition. He's not playing the same game as the last team. He's just not. No. He's on an entirely different planet. Yeah, and it was genuinely hilarious to watch him just casually wandering around like I think his first touch when he went past their left back I said and he I said you can't do that to him you're on TV he's got a family you know, yeah. <laughs> you, know you shouldn't be doing that it was the one to Joe Gomez where like he's on his left foot and he just like stops the ball passes it to his right rolls it to his yeah that's the one rolls it to his right and then like oh stop it that man's got a family 
The thing is, though, like, you know, as much as we say he didn't get that second game and he did it because he was in cruise control, it just looked all far, far too easy for him. It's like when the older kid in school comes and plays with the year seven. He was like, yeah, that's my ball, by the way. But um, it was just like, you could tell straight away, even though it was very simple, it was, it was going to do something, wasn't it? Yeah. He was going to score or assist. He was going to have an impact on the game of footy because he was just so far clear of what was going on around him. It was just a joke. Um, we've had an, an eight. What do we say, eight? I said eight. Okay, are we happy with an eight? Yeah. Sure. Happy with an eight? Okay, we're happy with an eight. Look at that. 